everybody. My name is Omar Santos from the Red Team Village, and with me, I have Nigel and Ingenio. So, Nigel, if you don't mind introducing yourself. Yeah, sure. Um, Omar, thanks for having us. Appreciate it. Looking forward to working with you guys again. We're very excited. My name is Nigel LeBlanc, and I'm the CEO and founder of CyberWare Network. And uh, joining me today is our CISO, Hinio Choa. Um, just a little bit about me. I am an uh, Air Force member. I've been in the Air Force um, going, damn, 21 years. Yeah, I'm old. So going on 21 years, um, I did 10 active and the, the last, uh, like almost 11 in the reserves. Um, and how, how I kind of got into cyber from uh, 2014 to 2016, I served as the cyber veteran program manager for the state of Maryland. Um, and, you know, part of my job there was to help vets launch businesses and careers within cyber. So that was kind of my foray into the business of cybersecurity. Now, I'm not your ones and zeros, guys. That, that, that'll be, you know, Hinio and, and, and the rest of our technical team. But um, just happy to be here, man. Um, so, Hinio, you want to tell, tell them a little bit about yourself, brother? Yeah, hey, everybody. Um, I'm Hinio Ochoa. Uh, if you don't know, um, I'm the CISO uh, over at CWN. Um, I love everything hacking security wise. I've been in this industry for 20 plus years, grew up in the IRC channels and back ends of uh, uh, pretty much the deepest, tediest places. Um, but uh, yeah, that, that, that's really the, the go. You can, you can go and find my story at Darknet Diaries or any of those uh, wonderful outlets. Um, but that's me. Uh, I, I work right now in the um, uh, hospital industry, in the healthcare industry, um, doing incident response on the side, and I do, of course, CWN stuff. So lots of fun stuff. Awesome. Thank you, guys. And you know, glad to have you here, and you're being part of the Red Team Village for quite some time, supporting us in many, many events. So uh, for DEF CON 29, uh, can you give us a, somewhat of an overview of what we are expecting with Cyber Wraith, I heard that you guys are giving a thousand dollars to the first winner plus job interviews and several other uh, prizes as well so can you go over that and uh, i guess i'll pass it back first uh, to you nigel yeah so but before we talk about what's happening this year omar let's talk about what happened last year right mm -hmm. um so when we worked with you guys um that was that was an amazing experience and we learned a lot right and you know at defcon you got to learn real quick right um so it was somewhat of a litmus test for us but so last year we took the top 25 and i think it was like a little over 340 50 people who registered and you know over 200 participated so we took the top 25 and they interviewed with companies like google hulu healthmark um, and that was like our proof of concept, so to speak, right? So, you know, startup mode, and then you got to go out and, and validate these hypotheses, right? And out of the, um, the, the top 25, there was a 14 year old girl, man. I don't know if you, you guys, I don't know. There was a 14 year old girl who placed in the top 25. Yeah. Yeah. So even more exciting, we're going to be featuring her and her dad who both played the game last year and they placed, so they're going to be featured, um, it within the stream this year and um they're going to be back to play and um and she's also going to be um uh, uh the 14 year old girl will be on um uh will have a conversation with um the CISO um from one login you know and 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 women in cyber um so um we're pretty excited about that so fast forward this year right um for guys for the the all who don't know um cyberware network we have positioned ourselves as the first true cyber esports league, right? And our game Cyber Wraith, you can think of it as Call of Duty for ethical hackers. It's pretty cool. You know, you get to to, log, to, to hack drones, cell phones, you complete missions, and the storyline is amazing along with the graphics, right? Very um, interactive and intuitive. And, and you can tell you a little bit more about the platform, the capabilities, and the gameplay itself. But what we were able to do was we've matched up the actual gameplay. So while, while players play the game, we validate their knowledge, skills, and abilities, and we match them with the real-world job opportunities, right? So we've, we've created these triggers within the game, and um, we have this machine learning algorithm that matches the gameplay and the player's performance to not only the nice 2.0 framework NIST, but also the cyber kill chain and matters, MITRE's attack framework, right? So we are, we are essentially taking the, the um, cyber talent industry and we're kind of gelling it with the whole eSports League, right? And we position ourselves that way. So, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of eSports with a purpose, right? 
So uh, this year we, we're going to do um, similar to to um, setting up uh, these interviews for the top performers. We're also giving away um, a thousand dollars for the first prize, five hundred dollars for the second prize, and two hundred and fifty dollars for the third prize. Along with that, we have a whole bunch of swag. We have um, some pretty cool uh, T-shirts that um, stickers and everything that we made. Um, Omar, as you know, you and I and Hino, we will be part of the team that will be in Vegas, and then there will also be an online presence because um, uh, DefCon is, is is a hybrid uh, this year. You know, some virtual and, and some in person. Um, so, you know, guys, if you all are going to be out there, definitely stop by and check out the game. Right? Um, I'm, I'm sure you 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 will be very impressed with what we have going on. Um, I'll turn that over to Hinio uh, to talk a little bit more about the game and the capabilities and, and stuff like that. Okay, so let me just start off and just um, um, kind of blow everyone's mind real quick. I wanted, wanted to um, kind of take a step back and realize a lot of what just got said. And one of the biggest things on that is that behind this game is not a simple little filter. Where, okay, here, this equals this equals that. The team at CWN has spent a lot of time on this algorithm so that we're not you're not going to get these oh, you're perfect for this match, right? And it's like a, a 10 times developer um, and things like that. Like a lot of work was put on our back end. Now, that being said, the obvious problem is, man, I've played every every hacking game created since 1985-ish, um, you know, give or take. Um, and they all, man, they all, they all really try, but it's really hard to take what we do and turn it into a game. And well, that's what happens, and that's what happened. And so we have this really great. Um, the best way to think about it is, really, it is an a, a, an operating system, right? And so you get to use um, our operating system to play a series of puzzles. So imagine if you had a DefCon contest, 24 hours a day. On top of that, you can we have the capabilities of creating networks and entire 3D worlds and environments. And so when we say you can hack a drone. Uh, and, and do cool stuff like that, we mean there's there's likely, and in, in depending on the scenario and where it is, in some cases, you're simply looking at a um, 3D map of, say, the top topography, and you're trying to look for heat signatures. In other cases, you might actually see um, from the perspective of this other drone, right? Um, we have light out scenarios. We have full functioning um, 3D environments. And uh, it's really immersive. There's real stories. There's real writing. Um, and so it's not something that one generally gets bored in. If you know penetration testing or hacking in general, you know it's a lot of the same commands. You're using a lot of the same tools in different scenarios. Um, and while there is some repetition, because in, in most hacking there is repetition, um, I think we've done a really good job and the team uh, that supports the game itself um, has done a really good job at taking all of the things that most of us find as mundane and turned it into a really fun experience. And um, we got everything from open source intelligence. You're you're on the command line. You know you got real life feedback. Um, all our favorite tools are mapped in a way or another um, into these gamified tools. So while to someone who is new to the experience and they're just learning, they're like, man, I think I might want to get into cybersecurity. We can honestly say, man, play our game because you'll real quickly find out what you love about cybersecurity. You'll real quickly find out what your goal is. And we on the back end are really keeping track of how you do and what you do. Um, and then we, we give that to uh, the presenting that to the employers. And so when someone says, man, we want somebody who's fresh, they love hacking, but they're just new to the industry, we need something that someone who's willing to learn. Well, guess what, man? We can get you from from that want to that employee. And it's all real. You you can try and fake it if you want, but ultimately, um, I can tell you the guys in the back end have done a really good job to ensure that uh, um, we're going to find all the little skills that most people don't even think to uh, to even test for because there's not there hasn't been a really good way to test it. And I think we have found really the the small place in the middle that helps us do that translation for people. Uh, literally, you have a team where there's me. I'm in depth. I could tell you ridiculous amounts of code and stuff. And you got Nigel, and Nigel will stare at you and say, "I don't know what you want me to do with this code, right?" He it, but and using that dynamic, we have successfully brought this to this project to where it is now. So, um, uh, Omar, uh, th this this kind of brings back um, some memories. So, the the first time that we kind of debuted um, the game and Cyber Wraith. Um, at any live event, that was at Texas Cyber Summit, right? And um, 
uh, and it's funny. This is how how new I I'm still very new to the the cyber culture, right? You know, that's why you know I had to go out and get subject matter experts like our uh, like Hinio and some other folks on the team. Anyways, so we're at cyber we're at Texas Cyber Summit, and we have all of the laptops set up, and we're running the games, right? And we're inviting people to come over. And, you know, there were some like seasoned people like, hey, you know what, just like he said, you know, I've seen every game, whatever it is, maybe I'll sit down for 10 minutes, right? You know, an hour and a half later, we're nudging each other and be like, and this is the same person who's still sitting here, right? And then they come back the next day, and then they come back the third day, right? So um, we were we, we were standing then, you know, they had the big photo um, background next to, to our booth, right, where we were at. And Hinio goes, hey, do you know who that is? And he goes, I'm going to let you share the story. I won't mention the name. I'll let you break it. I'm like, no, I, I, I don't. I don't. He's like, well, dude, you've ever heard of Hack5? Uh, kind of. Well, I still don't, right? So I'm out of it, right? So I'll let Hinio say who we met. And then, you know, he can tell you how long she actually sat there and ended up playing the game. That was our that was our, our mutual good friend Shannon. Um, yeah, it was it was one of those weird things. You know, you, you I, I grew up in this industry, so to me, you know, just seeing her walk down, like, oh, I know exactly who that is, right? Um, I saw Jason E Street there. I'm like, hey, there's Jason. Um, and it, yeah, it's really it's just funny. But she sat down and she started playing, and you could tell, you know, she was doing her job. Her job's to go down there and take a look at some stuff, and we're that stuff. But as soon as that boom goes on and the, the intro music goes, uh, yeah. I guess the the best way I could put it is if you ever sat down and been like, whether it's hackers or sneakers or anything, and you're like, man, I wish I was in a movie where I could be the badass hacker, right? If you ever thought that, this is the game for you because from the beginning uh, all the way to the end, it's very much in your face. You're the guy. You're the man. You're learning an operating system. You're learning the hacking. You're learning your thing, your skill. And uh, if you're really good at it, then there you go. You know, um, if you're not, uh, there's tons of tutorials. There's tons of walkthroughs on some of the earlier levels. Um, there's a lot available to kind of um, because again, we're not trying to make it where this is an impossible game. We're not. We're not gonna do really well if nobody can play it. We want you to play. We want you to learn. We want you to have fun. And we want you to tell us what you want. Um, but yeah, I, I agree. It was it was it was just totally amazing to see uh, all these people come in and this and and I mean, Nigel, you gotta admit when as soon as he came to me with the first thing, hey man, we got a game. One of the first things I told him was, come oh, on, man. Uh, yeah, yeah. I was like, come on, man. I've played a hundred of these things, dude. I'm this is not gonna go well. Uh, but then at the same time, I called him. Uh, I think that Monday, uh, I had 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 the weekend to play it. I had beat it. The whole time I was like, oh my god, this is the best game we've played. Uh, I've ever yeah. played. I I can't imagine. Uh, the, I still have that email though, by the way. <laughs> that that in a dollar in our first dollar, right? That should yeah. be what's printed yeah. up. Uh, because that was that's when we knew, okay, we, we found that that mix. Yeah. Very, very cool. Hey, so we actually have a few people that I want to give shout outs to both in YouTube and Twitch. Uh, but there's a couple of questions actually coming in. Uh, the first one is where do we get on the game, and I think that the ad is coming, but I probably missed it. Actually, I put a banner in the bottom of your screen. So if you go to redteamvillage.io slash cyberwraith, you can register right now. As a matter of yep. fact, I'm going to share my screen so you can see the page. And we're going to go over the registration process in a second. Uh, and there's a very cool trailer in that video. I'm not going to play it right now because, of course, we're actually streaming, and you're going to be hearing it. But uh, at the end of uh, the the video today I will I will definitely make a note uh, but again redteamvillage.io slash cyber rate the second question that I got from Rafael uh, Choco is uh, I mean uh, I chose this package so basically greetings I'd like to change the game package is it possible to rerun that setup and then he had a follow-up to that question I mean that I have chosen the Windows package but I would like to change that is that possible to do that um, to Mac does he want to change it to Mac? If he wants to change it to Mac, just tell him to um, to go ahead and just do a new registration, mm -hmm. and um, and then shoot us a note. Um, and then we and I, I'm, uh, Omar, what I'm going to do is I'm also going to send you our um, our Discord server, okay. or you can or he can just um, connect with us on the red the red team Discord server yeah. in our channel, and then we can take care of him. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. And then, um, how long is the game, uh, Bond Dracula? Uh, oh, so so for me, all right. So this dude, he completed the game in a weekend. I was barely past the the um, 
what was it, the academy in the damn weekend, right? So, you know, he's laughing. It was all fun and games for him. And I'm pissed off because my wife is pissed off at me. I'm spending the whole weekend playing this damn game, right? So it really is, um, you know, uh, how much time that you dedicate to the game, no matter what your experience level, right? Now, the cool thing about the game is that um, once you you complete the academy, and kind of like Higgs said, it's like you, you're joining this clandestine organization, like the pseudo NSA, and you know you go through the academy. You have two AIs that's you know one is your sergeant, the other one is kind of like your colleague slash trainer. But then you go on and you can either you kind of like choose your own destiny, right? You can go out and you can uh, do the the story mode, you know, which is like damn near over 80 missions, right? Um, and then you could, or you could either choose that or the um, the bounties, right? So that's your standard, you know, bounties type of type. Of, and then the coolest one is the open world missions. So this is like real. You know what? I'm not Higgs. Go ahead and tell him about the open world mission. And okay, yes, yeah, so, um, I I definitely was gonna let him finish that one. Uh, but let me let me let me tell you how this game this game doesn't have an end. Now, when I when I had got to the end of it, we had finished all the content that was currently available. That included um, three actual full missions, right, uh, which were about 30 minutes to an hour apiece. There was um, something like 25 or more um, bounties which are just imagined side quests if you're a, an avid gamer. Uh, and then we had open world missions, which were very much side quests with uh, open source intelligence gathering stuff. So you may need to go to a real wiki page or a real domain name and grab said piece of information. Um, currently, we are up to, I believe, like five or six, um, if not more, with so many uh, content packages constantly coming out because it's all customizable, and that's what it was made for. Um, we also have what is called a hive mind. Uh, so from your player base, now this is you know something that uh, kind of close to, to hard, but it's something that I think anyone who's heard understands. Um, we have administration packages where you can actually build content for the game. Now, obviously, we don't let that for everybody. There's different packages like that, and that's more of, of someone else's job. But the point is, is that if you're looking for a game that you can just go in and say, yeah, man, I beat it. It was no problem. This ain't it. I'm telling you, if you have, if you come into this game thinking you know uh, how, you know, I know every game, I've played every game, I know it, I'm the best gamer, this is going to mess you up. You're doing crypto puzzles like you find on the back of these badges and, and coins in real life, right? This is... Um, we, these are real tests that have been gamified instead of a gamification of, um, you know, uh, fake, weak tests that kind of give an idea. Uh, so if I, if you, if you think that you can sit down and play it in a weekend, um, if you're lucky, you can, you can get really far. Um, I can tell you, I've had to play this game 15, 16 times, and I can no longer go from beginning to end in an entire weekend because it's literally just so much content. And while that content is going, bounties will pop off. Now, as as it was hinted in earlier, you can decide to pick a side, right? So if you're uh, the w the way we like to say it is, think NSA, I but on a world conglomerate, right? You're you're outside of any one government. So if you help, for instance, the, a bounty with GRU, uh, that may affect how your bounties with um, the USA go, right? Or with Israel and all these little sub, there's so much sub story here uh, for you to really get involved in. I don't want to give it all away, but I can promise you, if you want a solid number, uh, guarantee, guarantee 48 hours to 72 before you start saying, okay, I got it. And... 72 plus hours is where I would start because it there really is a lot of, of stuff going on with there. Everything from Maltego for uh, stuff to hacking into phones, satellites, drones, like it's 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 a it gets crazy. Awesome. And I think actually you just answer another question that came in a few minutes ago. What are the missions consist of? And that was actually perfect. Now there is another follow up question. So for first person, will it be given, I guess, for people that are doing this for the first time, will it be given to whoever gets into furthers doing DEF CON, or is this person only can do it virtually? So let me paraphrase, I think, to understand. So so basically, I think the question is, can you, are the, the contest prizes only for the time frame during DEF CON, or is it actually if I start playing right now? 
Yeah, uh, so the, 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 it's, it's for um, the time frame during DEF CON. So the, the rules are very specific, right? Um, someone could go out and say they wanted to complete the game right now. Guess what? You got to download the game, be fresh, and that's where you get considered for the prize. They'll make it fair across the board. And it, it's not relegated to the people who are only playing at the lo at DEF CON itself, at the location. It's going to be the, um, the best of both. All right. So for us, we're all about skills matter, right? You've demonstrated that you're a badass, then you should be paid and you should win. It's that simple. Perfect. Awesome. And um, I think those are the pending questions that we have. Do you mind if I actually share real quick the screen when we go over the registration process? Um, sure. So once again, you know, I'm, I'll put the banner also in the bottom of the screen. Uh, this link is just very easy. Our website redteamvillage.io slash cyberwraith. Once you go there, you go into registration. Uh, so it says registration now open, and it will take you to this page. And I'll pass it back to you so you can explain. So I'm not going to read the screen because I, I think everybody here on the on the opposite end is way smarter than I am. So, but the biggest thing to to um, kind of take in mind when you're registering is that there is a code for each tournament, and there is one specific to DEF CON. It is in the information package and is in the registration packet, right? Um, so um, the screenshots that you have, and if you will scroll, scroll a, little, a little bit lower here, please. Right, right. So that screenshot is after you've gone through the initial registration, you're going to get essentially inside access to your profile on CWN. And once you do that, there is a tournament registration, which then you go in and you use that code, which is specific to the um, the DEF CON tournament, and then that way we'll know that you're in, right? And and once you do that, it's it's all just um, you know a piece of cake from there, right? Um, the rules are also on the um, on the the main page, Omar. So they'll be taken to the rules page after they go through this process here, right? When they complete it, and um, it will answer questions like the last one: Hey, when you know um, when will I be considered? Like what time frame, right? And will you now? Keep in mind, we if you are in the market for a job, right? Um, you know, our mission is to essentially put butts in seats, like get the the, the best people, right, into and connect them with with um, really good and, and cool employers, right? Be sure to upload your resume, right, um, and then you know, ping us if you have any issues because at the end of the event, just like we did last year, we're gonna take the top, the best of the best. Right. And we have employers, you know, from Air Force Civil Services, right? One login, Google. We have some major partners who really want to see what your skills and your your talent is like, right? So I mean, if you think about about it, Omar, one of our one of the defining factors for us, we knew that we weren't going to be another job hunting firm. We knew we weren't going to be another LinkedIn or we weren't going to be another um job board, right? Our biggest thing is how do we essentially deploy data science to validate knowledge, skills, and abilities, right? To, to make sure we know that we are de-risking the, you know, uh, an employer's next cyber hire. But on the flip side, the coolest thing about it is that if you are in the market for, uh, no matter where you are in your career, except CISO, right? Except if you're very high up, right? But, you know, um, you know, if you're a beginner or intermediate, you don't have to modify your resume a hundred times to beat an applicant tracking system because our algorithm does that for you, right? So, you know, this is a really easy way to have fun, to learn, to prove your skills, and then let us do the heavy lifting, right? So, you know, for everybody who's participating in the tournament, even if you don't, you're not particularly looking for a job right now, it's always good to have your resume on there because when you are open for an, for an opportunity, then we can help you market yourself really effectively. Okay. And that actually, I guess, uh, goes into the next question, which is, is it a requirement to have any of the information there, or can I play without uploading the resume? Yes, you can. You can play and win the contest without, or you know, you know, even get prizes with the contest without the resume. Resume is not um, a requirement for the contest. The only two things that we require for people, um, obviously, is to actually have an email where we can reach you to send you the, the the gift and then you're required to stream at least 20 minutes on twitch all right 
So that's those are the the, the three requirements to and and you know have fun, right? So um, you don't need your resume in order to qualify for the prizes and participate. Perfect. Thank you. So um, I think that the those are all the questions that I see from both. Uh, actually, no, there's another one just came in. How will the winner be determined? I think you you actually went over that, but if you can refresh. So w within the game system, um, we have our, our own algorithm that does all the weighting uh, and, and, and matching and scoring. And then there is also within the actual game mechanics, it shows you your scores and your rank. So essentially, um, we're doing this on a timed basis, right? Um, and um, we may or may not, um, I just put that out there, have a scenario where you know the top qualifying people will have to you know kind of go prove their skills there you know to be to be determined that's all i say about that but anyway so essentially um we will have the leaderboard up during the contest the entire contest you will always see where you rank <clears throat> and um you know you'll get to see who are, who are the the winners and the leaders awesome so i'm just looking at oh there's more comments um so I know that some of you actually just joined. Uh, some of you actually are asking again on how to join or sign up for the game. It is in redteamvillage.io slash cyber wraith. I'll leave that in there just uh, just in case, because I know that you know just people are coming in. And then the last one is, are there requirements for the stream on Twitch? Just wondering because you know uh, my very small resolution got messed up. Um, so. So somebody's already planning to win this thing. So he's asking about the stream. So that's pretty good. So extra points so, for white uh, too. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll turn that over to Higgs. Um, I, I know that we're still working on on packaging everything together, but Higgs, if you can give a little more info on that, it'd be great. Yeah, I mean, look, if if you gave it your best, that's you know that's that's all we're asking. We want to see you have fun. We want to see you play this game. Uh, we want to see you take the hacker spirit of you know um um being in a situation where you don't have all the answers you know and, and you have to go learn and sometimes twitch facilitates that be having to put yourself out there and put it on there so yeah look if you get if you have a low resolution i wouldn't see a super problem with it um if it you know again this is this is defcon um we expect there to be you know uh, the hacker mentality going on. We expect some people to try to cheat and that kind of stuff. So we understand that there's some situations, um, you know, that, that you might not be able to to have the super Twitch with all the cool eye. Look, go on, do your tw your your 20 minutes, hit us up, it counts. Um, as long as you're having fun, that's really what this is about. Um, having fun, learning, and and trying to do uh, give back to the community, give back to us. Awesome. Thank you. All right. So, wow, more, more comments. Um, some of them we already went over uh, before. There's a new one that is, what is the difficulty from a challenge perspective? And I think that you hit on that whenever you're talking about, you know, Ihinio actually completing this in a shorter amount of time. I don't want to throw you under the bus. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a Higgs question. That's not it for me. I shouldn't <laughs> yeah. be talking about yeah. this. Yeah. Um, look. <laughs> You're, you're not, and there is, I don't believe, a way to test every single skill set we have in information security, okay? But I will tell you that we've done a very good job of covering as much as possible. This isn't uh, where you have to know a very specific um, uh, uh, exploit or you have to know, uh, you know, the the command lines for an obscure piece of software released in 1940 right we, we it's not that super complex um what it does test is things that aren't normally tested you know so is it challenging yeah that that was that's the the main idea behind it um but it's not impossible uh so i believe that if you're if you're super new to hacking or you're you're thinking about getting into hacking this is the game for you if you've hacked every day of your life for the last 25 years, this will be the game for you. Not because it's super hard, because you you might discover that, ooh, maybe cryptography is not my super thing. Maybe I'm not as observant as I think I am. Um, it, there's a lot of self-discovery in this game uh, uh, that, that I think I believe a lot of people can find too. Um, so I would say it's not 
it, it the the challenge of it is not a barrier for entry. So if you think it's going to be too easy uh, and you don't want to waste your time, I mean, that's your own choice. But I can tell you right now that um, you, there, there's enough content there that you'll you may uh, uh, have your workflow down. Right. You do your recon. You got your uh, uh, exploits. You got your pivoting. You got all that kind of stuff. Um, but I don't think anyone is going to just necessarily walk all the way through it um, and say in an evening. Uh, but then again, it's DEF CON, so it could happen. Uh, we're not saying we're the super challenges game. We're saying, hey, we challenge you to give us a try. And so I, I, it's welcome for everybody. If you if you have a, uh, an hour or five and you want to come and just chill out, uh, remember one of the things I don't think it's touched on a lot is it the game actually has the ability for you to self-host essentially. And what is essentially an IRC? internally to you and to your your buddies and so you don't have to hack alone man bring your crew bring your buddies sit in a lobby start a uh you know a little fun game or something uh it it's going to be challenging um on, on whoever you are and whatever you're doing uh but it's not going to be so challenging that no one's going to have fun that's not the point point. and as a matter of fact i think that you just touched in the question that came in so a few seconds ago are you allowed to create a team and win as a team or it has to be an individual so for for this one, it's it's just individual, but we are we will be coming out with the team version. Okay, perfect. Uh, yeah. The communication though, so if you if you have there is an internal communication, so that's between you guys, you know, um, there is chat enabled and that kind of stuff, so you can talk. But the winning, I I believe, is simply for the, the individual. So that this just means that only one person receives the actual prize. How you guys split that up between you and your crew, that's on you, right? So. <laughs> Uh, I mean, you know, like Higgs said, you know, invite invite your friends, you know, get your team together. And if you want to do this, you know, I mean, if nonetheless, you're just prepping for our event next year, right, Omar? So um, next year it will be a team event. So you're just prepping for that. Awesome. Now, the, the other question that we got is uh, actually many questions from the same individual, but let me try to do one at a time. It's all about the Twitch um, stream, right? So the first one is, do we have to record the Twitch transition? I, I assume that it's actually the, the Twitch stream. Or share our Twitch channel. Is it going to be specific to an hour to stream? Or can it be a, a full stream for all the hours that we play? How does that work? So we'll be coming out with details about how to, 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 to share the, the, the Twitch stream and wh when and where, so to speak. When I say when, uh, where is from a, a link perspective, right? So we'll be getting all of that um, uh, information uh, before the, the, the actual event itself. And we'll be updating folks throughout the event, you know, so. Perfect. Yeah. I mean, but if, I'm sorry, if it's safe, it's a, go on. No, go ahead. No, yeah, I was just gonna say, just on that note, if you wanna stream the whole time, stream the whole time. If you don't, if you're like, hey man, I'll stream my stuff, but I, I really don't wanna be seen, I really don't like my voice, whatever. Let us know so we can validate it. We'll never talk about it again. However, if you like getting on Twitch and you wanna talk, you wanna show that off, go all day, go three days, go all of DEF CON. Let us know, we might even throw you up on our stream, you know? Do what we can, let's, like I said, we're, we're all about the community and helping the community kind of uh, keep on that fun and in, in, in hybrid DEF CON, so. And if you if you do stream a whole lot, you never know what swag is going to come your way. You never know. So. And uh, there's a question that I think that I can address. Is the Cyber Wraith CTF different than the one on the Eventbrite? So uh, for those of you that don't know what the, the one on Eventbrite means, there are two different contests that is actually happening from the Red Team Village. Let me actually go back to the site real quick, and I'm going to share it. So if you go to our website, you're going to see two contests in there. One is the DEF CON Red Team Village CTF and the DEF CON RTV Cyber Wraith. The one that we're talking about right now is the Cyber Wraith. The CTF, yes, it actually takes you, you know, if you want to register to Eventbrite, it's the same thing. It's not, you know, um, that's a separate contest. So we have two contests during DEF CON. Both of them are hybrid, so you don't have to be on site. To participate but if you're on site we're all all gonna be sitting in the same place right very close to each other so and i will strongly recommend for you to to um to meet with us right to meet with the team uh, and and so on right so defcon is all about not only you know the presentations and the contest but it's actually developing this network so uh, absolutely 
Now there's another follow-up question that says, you know, I didn't see any specific listed if I needed something special as far as hardware requirements for cyber rates, like PC specs, you know, can I do no, this? I, I think a, a fifth, sixth generation i5 ThinkPad. Yeah, I think all we need is a gig of RAM, right, Higgs? And then everything I, is pretty much... I cannot stress enough to the people out there that when we say game, um, it is not... This is not cyberpunk, right? This is not a giant, huge thing. This game is a, is literally stripped down the best. You need, like, a gig of RAM, <clears throat> um, half of a Pentium chip, and the thing runs. Um, it, we are using, you know, latest Unity engine, um, but it's not... It, it, it's really beautiful how how well it was done that we don't sacrifice there's not a tons of super flashy graphics um and things like that but it's until you see it until you play it you'll understand uh but but i promise you you can run it on just about anything perfect and then uh, the last question that we got here i missed the chance to get a virtual ticket and any other options to do it virtually um Any question? Any so so, so in other words, so we, we we will have. I know that um, we'll probably have some more events with um, with the Red Team Village, right? But you can always check back for our, from our website. Um, you know that right there is more of a DefCon question, um, uh, yeah. other than a, a seat up. You know, like a, a Red Team Village as a contest, cyber contest. What I, what I do recommend is. Um, uh, Get at us on either the Red Team Village Discord or on our own Discord channel. And that way we can see how we can get you into the experience. Um, you know, so just hit us up and, and we can work the back channels to see what we can do there. And I think that addressed the last question about the event bright. Uh, <clears throat> somebody was actually asking about event bright. Don't think you need a ticket to participate. So we're not this is not a for fee thing, right? So there's registration. Right now. You don't have to yeah. pay extra, even though know, it's, it's completely for the community. Yeah, and and whenever we do our events, um, you know, we never charge for for the actual event. You know, so um, we do this to to give back and to to build to build the community itself. Awesome, thank you. I think that those are all the questions that we have had so far. We actually been here for for a little while. Um, Thank you so much again for not only participating in this stream, for all the support that you have given this, the Red Team Village for quite some time, and also DEF CON. Um, and again, if you are just listening in right now, you know, feel free to register yourself for Cyber Wraith. The link is in the bottom of the screen, and I also have it in the description of the videos in both places. So with that, thank you again, and I'll end the broadcast right now. Thank you. It's thank been you. fun.